Well, we had a period of some pretty wet weather a couple of weeks ago with a couple of big rainstorms, but since then it has been bone dry. And the problem this time of the year is that the sun is at its strongest, which means the ground can dry out really quickly. A red flag warning up today for all of southern New England, and this is likely to be continued tomorrow as well. In fact, the national fire weather outlook includes southern New England in an elevated risk, and this is more used for wildfires out west. So for us to be placed in this shows that the risk is pretty high around here. Here's a look at how the fire risk will progress. It will be highest uh, this evening and then die down a little bit tonight and then come back during the day tomorrow as the wind kicks up out of the northwest and very dry air moves into southern New England. The big issue the next couple of days will be how bone dry that air is. You may be able to feel it and feel that you need some chapstick on your lips. Well, imagine how dry the ground is any fires that do crop up in the next day or two will be able to spread quickly because of that gusty wind and because of the dry air. In fact, the relative humidity, which is a function of the temperature and dew point, will be very low each of the next couple of afternoons because of how dry the air is. So do use caution, follow any advice from your local municipalities and towns. Burning definitely not recommended over the next couple of days. We're in Hamden at Sleeping Giant State Park. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.